on my way. Bum, 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 on my way. Oh, look at these cabins. Oh, that's adorbs. Oh, jeez! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic music. We go for the road less traveled. I'm Rob. And I'm Shereen. We've been together for 14 years. I brew beer for a living. I like to get outside. I'm a knitter. I'm a maker of all things with my hands. I love adventures and new experiences. And this is our first time in Minnesota. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> I'm just excited to experience a new place that I've never been to. Nice latte with oat milk. Oh yeah, cheers. I think makers and artists are kind of a special breed because you draw so much inspiration from your surroundings. And by seeing the makers and artists of a place, you get this heartbeat of the culture that you might not be able to describe. Holy cow. Whoa. Ooh, this is cool. Hi, Ashley. Nice to meet you did some backpacking last year. So I did like a whole little rock series. Cool. The building itself is incredible. Be with other artists yeah. and makers and have a space that you can showcase your stuff too. Yeah. It's really cool. It is and it's one of the largest co-working artist studios in the US. We have pop-ups all the time, all year round. And there's great galleries. Wow, I wish we had this. It's amazing. Making candles isn't just like taking a wax and taking an oil and putting it together. There's science behind it. One of the first scents I have created was the Lake Superior scents. Really a huge part of my childhood. I have Blackfoot history in my family. A lot of the scents I have relate to memory. Earthy scents, yeah. more forest, ground, rain. Yeah. It just reminds me of being up there. I'm probably gonna go with uh, Seize the Cedar from Minnesota. Nice. Awesome. Thanks so Yay. much for sharing your process. What I love about traveling is just opening your mind and perspectives to different places and cultures and foods. <laughs> Cheers. Mine's pinker. Not a big deal. <laughs> Taco time. Okay, that's nice. Let's just wander and meander and find something. Oh, whoa, holy cow. Whoa. <laughs> that's fun. A gummy ring? You kidding me? Gulp. Here at uh, the Minneapolis Institute of Art, cool. Mia, we go by. We have nearly 100,000 objects. They span 5,000 years of world history. I love history and culture, so art to me is always like really cool because it does speak to what was going on at the time, and then moving through the different rooms and the different spaces, it gets you excited for art and creation. This is exquisite. I'd like to make an offer. <laughs> These are some of our most iconic works in the collection. So cool. Well, now we're entering the Native American galleries. That's what you don't see a lot, is like diversity and representation in art. So this one is by a uh, local Minnesota artist, Diani Whitehawk. What's neat about this place is the uniqueness of the area and the authenticity of the culture. That's really cool. Wow, I can't believe how much art this city has. It's like everywhere. Ooh, obstacles. Oh! Are you excited to head north tomorrow? Super excited. Going from the city and just being a part of this really vibrant, artsy culture, and then driving up in a very short distance, you reach the forest and you're just driving through oceans of trees. It's like such a cool contrast. Where's the seals? <laughs> it looks like the ocean. That was a great lake. <laughs> oh boy. Hot pepper vinegar, please. Yeah, the Cajun fin for me, for sure. It's cool to find the great beers locally. You can kind of see where their passion lies. I mean, it's the Lake Superior water that we use to brew that gives us fresh and consistent beers. There's nothing like it. Come on in, you guys. My name is Jake. I'll be your instructor. Hi. All the colors are made from different metals. So all the metals yeah. of the earth give us all the different shades of color. Ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, so start turning right away. Yep, and we're gonna go right on the side, lower the back of the pipe, and roll nice and slow. Put a little sugar on that cinnamon bun. <laughs> Try to keep that it's tip like right on center. Wow. I'm drawn to that combination of craft and science and the ability to fill or hands on a lot. It all combines really neatly to where you can convey your passion and get excited when somebody shares that same enthusiasm for what you've made. It's already got Lake Superior in there, look at it. Two, one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Nice work. 
At Baker, we pull inspiration and ingredients from our surroundings, like the boreal forests and other botanicals that are foraged locally. Look at that adorable little glass. I think a lot of people now might think of themselves as there's nature and then there's us, but we are part of nature and when you're there, you get reminded of it. There's a lot of art and natural beauty just around us. Yeah. You just gotta go outside and find it. I wonder what the mushroom scene is I like. I know, that's what I'm saying, it's probably pretty good. Being here on the lake, for example, and with the woods, it just lends to making something cozy or doing a craft that is inspired by what you're seeing and how it's making you feel. The vastness of Lake Superior is pretty cool and it just really is really unique in the freshwater aspect of it. It's not that cold. Rob living the best life. It is that wet though. <laughs> I always love exploring the local, really unique styles, and it's kind of exciting. What's key is being able to get it local and fresh. Mm, it's good. Hi, good, how are you doing? Good. Smoked fish looks great. <laughs> Welcome to the North House Folk School. We teach traditional northern crafts spanning the globe. So we teach crafts that come from Japan, we teach crafts that come from, certainly from the UK and from Scandinavia and Mongolia, but also increasingly we have a lot of indigenous teachers who will come and teach here, which is a really great way to learn about another culture. You can come here and learn lots of woodworking and blacksmithing and basketry and outdoor skills. Cool, yeah. that's awesome. They all kind of connect to using your hands, using materials that can be accessed locally, and making things and learning things that have a heritage to them. The majority of our students travel more than two hours to come here, which kind of gives it this retreat feel. So cool. This is a Rhea weaving class, which is a tradition from Scandinavia. These nine students will spend four days learning to weave on our floor looms. This is my jam. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I have zero sailing experience. So excited. Welcome. I'm Dave. I'm your captain. Good to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Ready to yoink. All right. Let's haul away. Come on, Trina. Heave. What's Hjordis? Is that Hjordis. how you pronounce it? It's a Norwegian name for a sword goddess. Oh, and cool. it was the builder's mother. Sort of North House's school ship. Gotcha. North House is all about northern culture and crafts and tradition. Helps teach sort of the maritime side of northern life. So a lot of Scandinavian immigrants here in the lakes and a lot of Scandinavians um, sailed these uh, schooners. Smooth as the Rockies. <laughs> I now realize how much more there is to see here. The North Shore landscape has been super cool. I knew that the lake was huge, but with the trees and the forest and the way the coastline is here, it was not what I expected. It really is so coastal. There's a lot that Minnesota has to offer. It's a really vibrant place to be, and so we could really see that from the makers and artists we've seen. We have found our people. <laughs> I think we've just scratched the surface. So. I know. I am literally so excited. We have to come back. <laughs>